IO-Link is a standardized two-way communication protocol between IO-Link device such as a sensor and any manufacturer's IO-Link master. Panasonic has released several new IO-Link devices. In this video, we're going to look at Panasonic's IO-Link fiber optic amplifier, the FX-551L. We're going to take a look at the data that can be accessed from the sensor as well as look at an application example. My company Ramco is also a distributor for Turk products, so in this demonstration I'm going to be hooking up the Panasonic FX-551L IO-Link fiber to the Turk TBEN 4 port IO-Link master with Ethernet IP communication capability. The fiber amplifier that I chose has an M12 molded connector and can easily be connected to the master. It's very simple, plug and play. To make it simple, I chose to demonstrate showing the sensor data by using Pactware software. Pactware is a manufacturer and field bus independent software for operating field instruments. In order to display and make changes to the parameter, diagnosis, and process data, you have to download the IODD files. Simply put, they are device description files for all of the IO-Link data from the sensor. This video is meant to give you a basic idea of how to set up IO-Link sensor with the Turk block and Pactware software. Once you are connected to the IO-Link master, you right click on the port that you connected the sensor to and select add device. This is where you select the IODD file for the device that you are connected to. Again, I added the IODD file previously. You then hover over the IODD file, right click and select connect. Then, right-click again and select Parameter. The parameter data will now be displayed and you can press the Read Data icon to import the data from the sensor. There is quite a lot of information that you can get from the sensor. This screen shows the part number of the sensor along with serial data, hardware and firmware versions. All of these settings can be adjusted remotely. Example, threshold value, timer settings, teaching, emission halt, etc. etc. Process data will show the reflected light level of the sensor. This would normally only be accessible by looking at the sensor directly. Panasonic also offers diagnosis data that can aid with setting alarm data for predictive maintenance. Notice the fiber amplifier. The existing threshold value is set for 250. However, when no part is present, the incident light level never goes below 448, so the output always stays on. By adjusting the threshold level to say 1000, I can then detect the object presence absence. Notice the threshold level changed. Also notice the output light will now change states. Say you have a production line that is controlled with Ethernet IP. You need to mount many sensors in areas where making adjustments at the sensor's location is just not feasible. You also want to be able to send predetermined parameter settings in a batch file. In addition, you want to confirm that the sensors are properly connected at starting. The IO-Link sensors from Panasonic can be connected to an IO-Link master that can communicate via Ethernet IP protocol. By adding add-on instructions or AOI files to the Rockwell PLC, you can very simply make adjustments. If you'd like more information on the IO-Link products from Ramco and Panasonic, please give us a call at 800-280-6933 or visit our website at panasonicsensors.com. 
If you found this video helpful, please consider pressing the like button and subscribing as we have many more videos coming. Thank you. See that the humans remain entertained until the end.